Hey everyone, welcome back, this is Professor Hank, and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix this error right here in NetBeans when you're writing your Java programs. I'm going to show you how it happens and how we can fix it. So let's go ahead and get started. So to see what causes this problem and how to fix it, let's create a project and we'll just make a Java application, click next, call this project demo, and I'll name my package demo as well. Click finish. And you can see we've got our Hello World program. If I compile and run this, everything is going to work fine. Now, the problem comes when you try to change the name of this class for whatever reason, maybe because of a homework assignment or whatever. So if you go in and find the source code file name, which is going to be demo.java, and you change this by selecting refactor, rename, and you name it to something like, I don't know, driver, and then click that refactor button. You've updated the class name, the source code file name changes, and everything looks great because there's no red squiggles or anything to indicate that anything went wrong. But as soon as you compile and run it, then you get this error here, right? So what is the error? Could not find or load main class demo.demo .demo, caused by Java lang class not found exception demo.demo. .demo. So what's happening is, is that when the compiler did its thing, it created this file called driver.class. And so let's go see what that looks like. So I've opened up my project folder. Remember the project name was demo and it has this inside of it. So I click on target and then classes. This is the name of the package. It's our package folder. And you can see that there's driver.class. So that's what got created. Now the problem is NetBeans is looking for demo.class. So let's update what it's looking for and that's gonna fix our problem. So how do we update that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to go into pom.xml and we're going to look for a line called exec.main class right here. See how it says demo.demo? .demo? This is where NetBeans looks to see which class file it should use to try to run your program. And as we saw previously, what we have is driver, not demo.class. So we're going to change this to driver. And we'll save that, hit Control S, or you could hit the save icon up there. And now if we go back and build this, it's gonna work just fine. Now let's break it one more time and show an alternative way that we could fix this. So we will refactor this one more time and we will change it to, I don't know, demo driver. We'll click refactor. We'll build it and run it. And we'll see that it's broken one more time. And now let's go see how our class file name has changed. See now that the class file is demo driver.class. This is not what NetBeans is looking for. So we can always go ahead and update this item in here. That's the best way of doing it, but we could also do this. We could go up to the demo folder up here, right click on it and select properties and then go down to this run option here. Click browse next to the field labeled main class and then select demo driver. Hit OK and then we can build and run it again. Okay, now that's not the best way of doing it. You know, you want to have your palm.xml file be configured. This is the configuration file for your project. So you want this one to be it, but that's another way you can do it, what I just showed you. So let's go and change this to what it should be, which is demo driver save that and then we'll go back to the properties and clear what we just had hit okay and we'll build and run it and you'll see that it works just fine okay so that's everything that i have for you in this video what did we take a look at we looked at a common error with that beans that occurs when you try to refactor the main class name we saw what caused it and we looked at a couple of different ways of fixing it. As usual, if you're a student of mine, you have questions about any of the content in this video or any of the other videos in our courses, feel free to hit me up via Canvas email or stop by my online Zoom office hours. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.